Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Real Rise and I here kind of want to talk about should you summon for Imperial on uh, Paladin mode and yeah, I feel like the obvious answer is yes, but this I kind of want to just Really emphasize it for players who are like oh, maybe I'll skip or people who are kind of new Maybe who think like oh, I'll just summon for another thing like no 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 like right now all your resources should be summoned on this guy paladin mode uh he's like an excellent digimon it like lowers your opponent's tech by 30 percent that's like it already is basically increasing its power by a lot off the bat you got to just think about it that way it evades to attack so it's not going to take that much it's not going to take any damage at all which is great if it doesn't get hit by like a pursuit or a counter like it's it's going to survive a big hit which is going to like lower your opponent's chances of like knocking out. So that's good. Uh, it attacks three enemies, which is like a big range, uh, but not it's small enough where it'll do like it'll have a high multiplier because usually the longer the range, the less the multiplier. Um, it, it ignores your opponent's block exactly like Omega Mon. It does more than double the damage when it crits. And it also negates your opponent's like tech, defense, and uh, resistance. It takes it all away, which that's huge. Like that just makes back. I think the last time we had Tenacious Week, you could just build up so much defenses, like, and you could just out tank your opponent. Even Omega Mon couldn't stand a chance. Like I, I think that, that that was my opinion. Like Omega Mon, when my team, uh, if you go back to like the videos when I was playing, it did like no damage. It was like noodles and what's his name but this guy takes it away so it gives all your other digimon a high chance to uh, do damage that's why this tenacious week it's not going to build be filled with as much tenacious digimon especially because this digimon came out it probably dropped in rank all a bunch of other digimon so there's that like this digimon coming in like totally shifts the meta a lot um and because of him, you could see a lot of, I guess, more redundant teams with like Omega Mon, Dynas Mon, and this guy. So it, this one makes it possible to have that. The other one, uh, before this one came out, like you still kind of had to have like a mixture of teams. But these three Digimon just tank so much uh, just because of, you know, their abilities and they hit hard. Uh, it has power resistance, but uh, it attacks to allies. So it's kind of healthy range. It's okay. It's not like broken, but it's passive and it's main skill are broken enough. So I can't emphasize enough. I know like there might be someone out there and that's why this video is being created that it's going to be like skip, but no, no, no guys, uh, you guys have to summon for this banner. He is a must have Digimon, uh, back, you know, a little history lesson, I guess when Omega Mon came out, a lot of people struggle when all force came out, a lot of people struggle this Digimon shifts the whole game and like what people are gonna run even if you have this you might struggle like that that's how like it is right now and uh, which is unfortunate like I, I know other games when you do summons let, let's say a character came out later on it comes out again for example mirage gargamon came out a long time ago um in another game it'll probably come out again and again and again and again because it's already an old digimon but you know unfortunately these like once they come out it takes a while for them to come back especially the really strong ones um alpha mon came out in january and it came out in dynas monitor Di dynas monitor the dynas mon banner i just totally combined that but there's that um let's look at the summoning rates um, not not for the rates, but you know Imperial Drummond's there uh, Tiger Vespimon. I didn't click it, but I don't think it's a big deal But honestly Platinum Nomomon it lowers your opponent's power and Tiger Vespimon lowers your tech and their what's his name? Power which to a certain degree might maybe Tiger Vespimon might be better than Platinum Nomomon at this point because of that only because like Platinum Nomomon was good because with the team you could combine it with, with this Grand Koagamon. And it sucks because they're giving you Grand Koagamon, Hyandro, Platinum Nomomon, all these Digimons that go good with like a tanky defense team. Yet the main character that you want to pull, like eliminates that. Like it's like a total counter to Tenacious Digimon right now. 
the only thing to like truly counter right now um this meta is the crit which uh, nullify crit which you get from this guy um it's this ability it allows you brave and calm it has for both to nullify crit for one turn which is long for pvp however if your opponent has like a gallimon um maggie Dramon, or rusty tyrannomon like there's a little handful like maybe four digimons a lot of those you won't see play maybe but there is also all force um what's his name yeah those digimons are going to be good to eliminate the crit and then you can crit so that's going to be the counter to these digimons that like nullify crit uh hopefully you guys also got this rusty tyrannomon if you guys didn't summon for him Hopefully you guys got this rusty tyrannum on it. Remember, if you guys haven't summoned, use your tickets. Just you don't want to be like, oh, I had the tickets and I didn't summon. So do it now if you guys watch this far. But what's the name? You need something to nullify crit right now, cause yeah, it's Omega Mon doubles crit, Gaiomon doubles crit, this guy double crit. Like you know, that's too much damage. Like the damage gets doubled with crit and stuff. So since you can't put up defenses with this guy because of that because he removes them and he also removes power up you kind of need anti-crit and that's why it's kind of like the meta if you guys i guess don't uh, i'm hoping that you if you guys don't summon for him you guys didn't get him for free don't worry there's gonna be a creepy mon which later is gonna come out he's another one that I like takes a good crit and i think there's another more digimon so hopefully they come around soon because i know more people are gonna need them and that's another thing to look out for in the future to summon for it might be a must so there's that um this guy he he sticks to like calm and brave so if you have another thing that another digimon like a devoted or a tenacious it's not gonna help it they're gonna die real quick by an attack from this guy or a megamon and that's how it's kind of going right now uh tiger vespimon does nothing in the, like its main and sub skill it's not a big deal it's like whatever its main thing is his passive. That's why it's like not a big deal. As soon as you get this guy, I uh, hope you guys do get him. Just it's a dip. Uh, I just kind of want to talk, you know, to those people who are still hesitating. I know I had one person in the comments. Maybe they were joking. I hope they were joking that they were gonna skip, but don't skip. Uh, he is a must. And like I said, even if you have him, you need to level him up. And even if you level him up, you might still struggle because you know it's it's gonna be hard. Like even with a strong team. Like something could happen, you know, your opponent could have an old force and just wipe out your anti crit that you have from him, uh, Black War Greymon or your Rusty Tyrannomons, and then bam, you're susceptible. So, there's another thing if you want to counter, maybe you want something that clears, but at the same time, something if you have something like old force Gallimon, Rusty, or Megadramon, and it might not be tanky enough to clear it. Um, so it clears it and then it dies like so it's like oh yikes, you know, so there's that um, So it's in a like a little complicated area the it, it's up and it, it has its up and down so Yeah, so most definitely summon for it uh, Make sure you guys have some anti crit um, If you guys don't didn't get any of these uh, Look out for that in the future. That that's my suggestion uh, Hope this video was helpful Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.